Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering how to install and play Elden Ring on Windows 11. And most importantly, I'm going to suggest some ways that you can improve the performance of the game itself. So it's probably universally agreed that Elden Ring is a fantastic game, especially if you're a fan of the Souls series. However, I'll tell you what isn't fantastic, the performance of this game when you play it on Windows. The game itself suffers from mediocre performance, especially in the open worlds, and it's regardless of how powerful your machine is. So to put this in perspective, I've got a AMD Ryzen 5 FX600, as well as an NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti. And although I can find that if I'm in the interior locations of the game, I run at a solid 60 FPS, because that's the limit of the game. But the outside areas can range from anywhere from 40 FPS to 50. Now the universal theory is that since this is a DirectX 12 game, it doesn't have shader pre-caching, which would explain that the more you play the game, the smoother it actually becomes. Ironically, of course, this meant that when this game was first launched, the game ran better on Linux, and that's because it was using the Proton compatibility layer, and that does include a pre-compiled shader cache. However, with some tweaking, we can certainly minimise the FPS drop, as well as the stuttering, but first let's install the game. So step one of the process is to install Elden Ring. So, to my knowledge, Elden Ring is exclusive to Steam. However, you might get lucky and you might be able to find it reduced on sites such as CD Keys. In fact, it's where I bought the game from. Either way, once you've purchased it, you want to install the game using Steam as normal. Although I would strongly recommend that you install this game on an SSD or an NVMe, mainly due to this shader cache issue that I mentioned earlier. Once the game is installed, launch it for the first time, choose all your graphical settings and then close the game. At this point we can now make some tweaks to improve the performance as well as reduce the FPS drops within the game. So step number two is to change your power plan to high performance. So one thing by default that Windows 11 does is it defaults you to the balance power plan and the idea behind that is that it wants to balance the performance and the energy consumption and one of the recent ways that it does that is by limiting the clock speed of your CPU. However, for gaming, the high performance plan should be used instead as this sets the minimum and maximum performance state to 100%. In other words, the clock speed of your CPU will be set to its maximum and that can help with stuttering, especially as the game is compiling shaders in the background. So the easiest way to make this change is to type the word power plan into the start menu. And then select the option that says choose a power plan. From here, it's just a matter of just toggling between balanced to high performance, and then closing down the window. So step three is to set Elden Ring's graphical preference to high performance. Now this isn't to be confused with the high performance power plan which we've just changed, but you can actually set the game itself to run in high performance mode. So once again to enable this, you want to open up the start menu, and then type in the word graphics. Now choose the option that says graphics settings. Now this will bring a long list of all the applications that are currently installed on your system. So scroll down and find Elden Ring on the list, click on it, click on options, and then just make sure that you've got the option here to choose high performance. Once you've done that, click save. So step four is to set the shader cache to unlimited. This step will reduce the stuttering that can occur when the game's shaders are compiled in the background or when you enter a new location in the overworld. So to find this setting, you want to open up the Nvidia control panel. Normally there'll be a shortcut on your desktop to do this. And then under 3D settings, make sure you tick the option here where it says manage 3D settings. Go to global settings and then about halfway down, you'll find a section here that says shader cache size. By default, this will be set to driver default, but you want to swap that across to unlimited. And then if you've not already applied it, click apply it down at the bottom. And then once again, just close down the window. So step five is to run the game at a refresh rate higher than 60 Hertz. So finally, if you have a monitor with a refresh rate higher than 60 Hz, for example, my monitor is 165 Hz, then what I need to do is change the settings in-game to use borderless window mode instead of full screen. If you don't do this, what will happen is your monitor will be restricted to 60 Hz. So now we've made these changes, let's launch the game and we'll check out what the performance is like.
So in conclusion, with that, you now know how to install Elden Ring on Windows 11, and more importantly, you've been able to apply some tweaks to hopefully improve the performance for you. Thank you very much for watching guys, and as always, if you did find this video helpful, you know what to do, leave a like at the video, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you again next time. Bye now.